What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to attack from a top-down ARPG controller. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, as so you can see, I have this point and click controller. So when I click, my player will go here. And this is actually from a tutorial that I made uh, not so long ago. So I will be linking it in the description just in case you want to end up with the same controller as me. But it doesn't really matter what top down controller you're using. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm to do is import our attack animation. So I'll be leaving these three animations back in the description just in case you want to grab them. Uh, so let's go ahead and import it. So the one that I'm gonna be using right now is going to be the uh, parrot push shove attackant. Okay, this one I'm gonna be using is a generic push animation like attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it into my content browser. And then what we're going to do is go and make sure to reset to default everything. And you select a skeleton and in this case it won't be the ue5 it will be the old unreal engine 4 skeleton the old ue mannequin so sk mannequin skeleton and we're gonna be basically retarding that so don't worry about that as you say import and as you can see now we have this animation where uh, the player will use you know push and it will be attacking so let's go ahead and just right click on this specific animation and basically let's retard it. So let's click and retard it. And now because I am using the third person template, which you will also be using it if you're, you know, following the point and click tutorial, which I made, um, we're gonna be choosing from UE4 to UE5. And now you can see that when I press retard, now I can delete the old animation. So you just go ahead and select it, press delete. And now I only have my Unreal Engine 5 animation working. So that will be my attack. So what we'll have to do is convert this animation into animation montage so we can play it from our blueprint. So let's go ahead and right click, create a name montage. Let's open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the specific frame that we want our attack to deal damage. In this case, I will say that around here, okay, so yeah, around here, so at point 0.20, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the notify strike, so the first one, right click just in there and add a notify a montage notify so now from the blueprints i can specify that in this specific point my attack will deal damage in whatever is in front of me so now we're going to do is go back to our bp player or whatever character blueprint you know you're using and what we're going to do is go ahead right click and do a uh, right mouse button there we go so i'll be attacking with this specific mouse button because I already have the left one for you know moving the player so in here we're going to do is go ahead and drag this and say uh, play montage and we have two options in this case I'm gonna say play montage the the one that is more complete and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag our mesh into the skeleton mesh component and the montage to play will be our push shove so now, every time that we press the right mouse button, we should be attacking, but we can't. That's why we have to add one more thing into the animation blueprint. So make sure you have this. So let's go ahead and open the animation blueprint and go into the name graph and just after your whole locomotion, okay? And before uh, the output post, you go ahead and add a default slot because the animation montages will always be playing in this slot. So you have to add it. And now as you can see, when I left click, I go ahead and attack it. Cool, so now let's go ahead and apply a sphere, uh, kind of invisible sphere in front of the player so I can attack whatever is in front. So let's go into the unnotify begin, which is that frame that we selected. I'm gonna do a sphere trace. In this case, I'm gonna do four objects, okay? So in here, the starting point will be one that we can create. So just add a new component. Let's add an arrow and this will be the attack pause. Well, attack trace pass and now I'm gonna do a displace this bit in front of the player up here so around in here we're gonna create a sphere outwards so go ahead and drag the attack trace pose and just get the world location okay and I'm gonna plug that into the start and the end point will be the get world rotation and we are gonna be getting the forward vector so I'm gonna get uh, where the arrow is looking and go a bit forward so it will be more of a 
enlarged uh, sphere, not, not exactly a sphere, more like a cylinder, I guess we could say. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, times this by, so just right click, I float, and this will be the distance that we want to be able to deal damage. In this case, let's put around, I don't know, uh, 200, nothing too crazy. We'll experiment with that. And I want to do is get the location and add it with this final vector. And now that will be our endpoint, and we can put a radius of around maybe 50, okay? So this will create kind of a sphere cylinder uh, that will basically work for us. Uh, so what we're gonna do is debug this for duration, uh, and you can see that we have an error, that's why we have to specify what object types we want to uh, detect. In this case, let's just make an array, and we will just detect pawns, which are normally in a real engine, character so we have a dummy or an enemy who will do damage to it so now as you can see when i go ahead and attack if i go into better perspective i can left click and it will create this type of um big capsule okay that will attack of course it's too much so let's decrease the radius to maybe you know 25 and the forward vector to maybe 75 i think that will be a bit better because it's definitely too much so let's try this out let's move here left click as you can see now it's way better smaller i think that this is great it's absolutely perfect so now it's also controlled that we cannot you know spam attack if i go here you can see that i can just spam attack and that doesn't look very good so what i'm going to do is create a new variable and just call it attacking okay and this will be of course a boolean it will be true or false so we are only going to be able to attack if get attacking is not boolean so if this is not true okay so if we are not attacking i can attack but as soon as i start the animation i'm gonna set attack into true and when the uh, notify end happens uh sorry notify end no sorry the uncompleted happens i'm gonna copy paste this and put this to be false because uncompleted is when the animation finishes so when the animation finishes attack into false and when it started is true so that should work if i now go here I can now only attack and not spam. And right now, clicking a lot, but it only attacks a certain amount. Great, and of course you can add things, as for example, just, you know, play a sound at this uh, location, and whatever you want, but I will not go into that part over here. But basically, also you can, you know, add another guy over here in the level, and you can make, you know, that it will deal damage and whatever right and uh, whatever you want right and as you can see now the capsule is green because i'll be basically attacking so you go ahead and get the idea uh, so that's it guys uh, the profiles will be in patreon and youtube members so check them out uh check out the fps course in the description absolutely amazing uh go ahead and join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all said bye bye